what dopamine does is dopamine really colors the subjective experience of an activity to make it more pleasurable, to make it something that you want more of. So what sorts of activities, what sorts of things increase dopamine and how much do they increase dopamine? When you do or ingest certain things, your levels of dopamine will rise above baseline transiently. And depending on what you do or ingest, it will rise either more or less, and it will be very brief or it'll last a long time. So let's take a look at some of the typical things that people take and do and eat. Some are good for us, some are not good for us. And let's ask how much dopamine is increased above baseline. Now, of course, these are averages, but these are averages that have been measured in so-called microdialysis studies in animals. So actually extracting from particular brain areas how much dopamine is released or from measuring the serum, the, the circulating levels of dopamine in humans. Chocolate. Chocolate will increase your baseline level of dopamine 1.5 times. Okay, So it's a pretty substantial increase in dopamine. It's transient. It goes away after a few minutes or even a few seconds. I'll explain what determines the duration in a minute, but 1.5 times for chocolate. Sex, both the pursuit of sex and the act of sex increases dopamine two times. So it's a doubling above baseline. Now, of course, there's going to be variation there, but that's the average increase in baseline dopamine caused by sex. Later, I will talk about how the different aspects of the so-called arousal arc, the different aspects of sex, believe it or not, have a differential impact on dopamine. But for now, as a general theme or activity, sex doubles the amount of dopamine circulating in your blood. Nicotine, in particular, nicotine that is smoked, like cigarettes and so forth, increases dopamine two and a half times above baseline. So there's a peak that goes up above baseline two and a half times higher. It is very short lived. Anyone who's ever been a chain smoker or observed a chain smoker understands that the increase in dopamine from nicotine is very short lived. Cocaine will increase the level of dopamine in the bloodstream two and a half times above baseline. And amphetamine, another drug that increases dopamine, will increase the amount of dopamine in the bloodstream 10 times above baseline. A tremendous increase in dopamine. Exercise. Now, exercise will have a different impact on the levels of dopamine depending on how much somebody subjectively enjoys that exercise. So if you're somebody who loves running, chances are it's going to increase your levels of dopamine two times above your baseline, not unlike sex. People who dislike exercise will achieve less dopamine increase or no increase in dopamine from exercise. And if you like other forms of exercise like yoga or weightlifting or swimming or what have you, again, it's going to vary by your subjective experience of whether or not you enjoy that activity. 